They lay on blood red cutouts. Dozens of nurses gathering in Ybor City for a die in. Their message prepare now for Ebola. Their reality. I'm not prepared. My unit is not prepared. And they all seem to share the same sentiment. They say their hospitals, which they wouldn't name, need better equipment and they need better training. We need to have drills over and over again until all nurses, all, all ancillary staff are proficient in dealing with this. The news. Changes, excuses, apologies, and edicts with regard to the invasion of America by the Ebola virus arrive at the speed with which a sneeze can transmit an airborne virus. We are overwhelmed with the totality of it all and need a daily tampdown to settle everybody and those who seek to instill fear and some truth. Let's separate those. Welcome to Midpoint. He is the Section Chief for Infectious Disease and Chairman of Infection Control at St. Mary's Medical Center and Kindred Hospital in South Florida, board certified in infectious disease and principal investigator for Triple O Medical Services, Dr. Oleyemi Osiemi. Doctor, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Let us get down right away to what the United Nations has said, which has scared a lot of people. And again, we're trying to separate truth from scare here. The UN has said through the WHO that if we don't control this within 60 days, this is going to become a global issue and it's only going to get worse, but they've given us that 60 day window to get things under control. First of all, do you agree with that? Second of all, is it possible? Well, I, th I think uh, to, to just uh, look at 60 days as a, as a, um, as a number, it, to, 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 it, it's, it's, it could be a problem. I think you know, what we're trying to say is the, we need to move fast. Uh, I don't think 60 days is, is very concrete. Uh, you know, we could do this in 45 days, we could do this in 90 days. The goal is to try to move as fast as possible and educate uh, everyone and prepare everyone so that we can save more lives and prevent people, more people from getting sick. But when you say move fast, and I yes. agree with you, a lot of people say that, a lot of doctors say that as well. Seeing the mistakes that the CDC has made and admits to now in the last couple of weeks, do you have any faith whatsoever that this organization and the federal government itself can move fast enough and expeditiously enough to actually get something done? I, I think we can. I think CDC can. I mean, look historically what we've done. We've had several outbreaks in the past, and we see how uh, in the future there will be more outbreaks of different uh, disease processes. Uh, you know, CDC have you know tried their best so far, and each institution is trying to you know uh, improve on what it, what it, what was available to protect uh, their individuals in, in, in the institution. Uh, you know, St. Mary's, for example, we've done several drills, several policies in place. Uh, it's ongoing. It's every day we come up with different. Uh, training program to get people prepared. And, and some institutions are not moving as fast as, as they should, but everybody is, is now catching up. But shouldn't the CDC have moved faster? Because as you just said, these diseases happen, viruses happen, the SARS virus happened and caught everybody. It's seemingly completely off guard. Now we've had years and there are reports out now that this administration knew back as far as 2008 that they needed to do something here, but nothing's been done. So why are we to believe that anything can happen now? Well, I, I think it can. I mean, I, I think like everything else, no one predicted a blood virus uh, outbreak this year will be of this magnitude. And now that we know that, we have to respond. Uh, and, 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 you know, right now, I think the, the speed at which we're moving right now is, is pretty good. And we've, we've done a good job so far in trying to educate people. There are still some places that need more education. Such as? Uh, uh, well, I don't know specifically what I can. Like smaller hospitals, smaller doctors' hospitals, offices, correct. sure. And, and CDC is trying to set up, uh, they're, they're constantly trying to update uh, the providers, the, 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 the mass on what's going on, and create some sort of a, a uniform uh, uh, recommendation uh, so people all in all the hospitals can wear the same personal protective equipment and, and, and manage the patients the same way. Uh, we should, you know, that way everybody will have equal, equal uh, outcome, uh, and, and that sometimes uh, takes a little time to, uh, to, to, to pretty much implement those recommendations. But you will be at least ready to say that they Correct. should have been ready for this, though. I mean, absolutely, it should have been better from the top. Well, I think, I think, you know, again, it's retrospectively, I mean, to look back and say they should have done something better. It's really hard to say because no one knew this, the, the magnitude of this crisis would be this much. Uh, it's not, you know, the question is what do we do now? Where do we go from here? 
and that's even more important than what's, what could have been done. Okay, then hang on to that because that's where we'll go because we have to come back and when we do return, we'll talk a little bit more about the future of the CDC and the changes that they must implement, uh, implement rather, to stop such a crisis from happening again and as the doctor said, where we go now from here. And later on this hour, how the United States is succeeding and here's the bad news in making ISIS just a little stronger every day. This is we get news that they may actually be retreating from Baghdad. That and so much more coming up right here on Midpoint.